Can eating meat increase your risk of type 2 diabetes? Dear friends, welcome back to Longevity Now, Longevity Now FL. I'm Luigi Fontana, the Scientific Director of the Charles Perkins Center RPA Clinic of the University of Sydney. And today we are tackling a hot topic that could have major implications for your health. We are diving into a fascinating new study just published in the prestigious Lancet Diabetes and Endocrinology that takes a deep look at how different types of meat, both red and white, might impact your risk of developing type 2 diabetes, a major problem, major disease with huge consequences for your cardiovascular, kidney and uh, dementia, retina, so blindness. Many, many bad things happen when you have type 2 diabetes. This study just published is one of the most comprehensive study to date, analyzing data from 31, yes, 31 cohorts across five global regions and involving nearly 2 million adults. Okay, so it's a huge study. Is not you know one minor study. The focus was unprocessed red meat, processed meat and poultry, and their potential link to type 2 diabetes. So let's start. What are the results? The results in summary is that increased consumption of all three types of meat was linked to a higher risk of type 2 diabetes. How, how high? For every 100 grams of unprocessed red meat consumed daily, the risk increased by 10%. So 10% increased risk of type 2 diabetes for every 100 grams per day of uh, unprocessed red meat. For Processed meat, so bacon and the sausages, uh, salami, uh, was even worse, the risk, with a 15% increase for just 50 grams per day of processed meat. So 15% per, 15 increase for just 50 grams per day. Poultry also showed a modest increase in risk at 8% per 100 grams per day of poultry, okay? Interestingly, the strongest, strongest associations were found in North America, Europe, and Western Pacific. So these are the results. You know, this is, as always, an epidemiological study, so these are just association. They don't prove a cause-effect relationship, but I think, you know, you should be aware of these data published in a major, major uh, journal, again, the Lancet Diabetes Endocrinology, uh, involving two million men and women across uh, five regions uh, and 31 cohorts, so huge. So, why does meat increase diabetes, diabetes risk? Well, there are several, I don't have time to go into the details, but there are several hypotheses, theories. First of all, red meat is high in saturated fats, and most importantly, in methionine and branched amino acids that I, as I have explained in other videos and in review articles that we published in Nature Review, endocrinology, uh, cell reports, and uh, cell, uh, uh, more recently, Nature Review Molecular Cell Biology, the most important uh, uh, review journal in the world with a huge impact factor, basically uh, excessive intake of some essential amino acids is triggering insulin resistance, is impairing insulin sensitivity, that, as I've explained several times, insulin resistance, hyperinsulinemia, activation of the insulin IGF factor pathway, this is promoting not only diabetes, but is also promoting cardiovascular disease, dementia, cancer, and accelerated aging, uh, especially in people with abdominal obesity. Uh, mm, another mechanism is that processed meat contain harmful additive additives like nitrates, 
which may contribute to diabetes. Again, I don't have time to go into the details of the molecular mechanism, plus high temperature cooking methods, because most people, they eat their meat grilled, uh, uh, can create compounds that promote inflammation and uh, oxidative stress. However, as I said, the study isn't without its limitation. First of all, is epidemiological association data. Uh, the researchers pointed out that the dietary data was often based on a single measurement, so that's a limitation, which might underestimate the true risk. Also, the study didn't include much data from Africa, the Middle East, and South Asia, highlighting the need for more research in these regions. In conclusion, while meat, particularly processed and red meat, is linked to a higher risk of type 2 diabetes, and there are several data now supporting that, you know, the idea that you eat a high-protein diet and you fight obesity and type 2 diabetes is false, is because if you go on a restrictive uh, ketogenic high-protein diet, you have a calorie restriction and therefore basically by being calorie restricted you have a transient improvement in your risk of diabetes and uh, you lose weight you lose visual fat but this is because of calorie restriction not because you know you are consuming a high protein diet but on a long term people who are eating high protein diet as the study suggests have an increased risk of type 2 diabetes and many other uh, diseases including cancer, dementia, cardiovascular disease, and, uh, and others. Uh, uh, and these data are very important for informing policies to reduce meat consumption for promoting public health. The relationship between poultry and diabetes needs more investigation, but the study adds to the growing evidence that diet plays a crucial role in preventing type 2 diabetes and chronic diseases. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you found this video informative, please hit the like button and subscribe for more health -ish in insights. Uh, let, let me know in the comments what you think about these findings. And until next time, take care. This is, as always, Longevity Now, Longevity Now FL, the uh, channel of the science and philosophy of health, wellness, and longevity. I'm Luigi Pontana, professor of medicine, uh, the Leonard P. Ullman Chair in Translational Metabolic Health at the University of Sydney, the scientific director of the Charles Perkins Center RPA Clinic and of the Health for Life program, and a clinical academic in the Department of Endocrinology of the Royal Prince Alfred Hospital in Sydney.